So when I close distance, I just made a video about this. Rather than with head movement specifically, say you move your head and then you move out of the way, right? Because whenever you move your head, you're like, damn, I just slipped the punch. I'm gonna get out of the way now, right? Don't do that. If you wanna close distance, if you're a short fighter like me, whenever you flip, you advance every time. Don't don't give them easy uh like easy access on you, you know, because this dude's tall. He's gonna have longer arms than me. So say I'm I'm slipping at this distance and I'm staying right here, right? I'm gonna get countered so fucking easy just because he can reach out and just hit me. But say, right, I'm slipping, I'm slipping, and then every other punch I go, and now I'm here. I can work the body, go over the top. So whenever you're slipping, don't slip out. Slip in. Or if you're short like me, you're going to want to change stances a lot. That way you can do the same thing. And move in this way, move out, move in this way, move out, switch, move in this way, pop, 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 move out. So I see that a lot, man. People, they'll slip. You got a good thing going on, right? You're close. That's where you want to be already. You slip and then you go out. Don't do that. And another thing for closing distance is don't do this like how I'm doing, right? You're going to get jacked the fuck up unless you don't know how to move your feet. But if you want to close distance, you got to keep these hands up, right? Even though I like it right here, I always get fucking caught. I always get hit in the face whenever I'm right here. And I got my hands down like this. If you don't want to just take easy punches to the face, keep this up. It might be like right here. I can see the punches coming, right? It's easier to move out of the way. Doug counter but it's also easier for him to catch me off balance and then knock me out so for short fighters trying to close the distance keep these hands up right while you're coming in because even if they do hit you you're protected like this dude can afford to just keep his hands down and keep me at bay just hitting me over and over again but if i'm here right i'm slipping his punches and then he's scared now like imagine him every time he throws a punch, he's already, you know, you're already closing distance on his ribs. So he throws a punch, I slip, and I'm right here. He's not going to like that shit. So he's going to try to counter you. What are you going to be doing? You're going to have your hands here already. That way, none of these punches are going to hit you. You're already here, working the body or trying to go for that knockout punch. Right? So first, head movement, move in. If you want to know how to move in, this is kind of a, like, people always fuck up with this shit, right? So, you'll be moving in, right? And then you don't know how to move your feet closer to the target, right? So you're kind of like, and now you're here and it feels all awkward. Try to slip and then switch. That's how I like to do it because whenever you, whenever you're standing in front of somebody, you got no power. But whenever you go into this squared stance... I got a whole lot more power to give him. So instead of kind of like doing this kind of weird thing, wherever you're like hip to hip with him, switch that so where you're this closest hip is like right here and it's hard for him to hit you here and he's going to have to reach over to hit you with this arm. So now I'm right here. This is always where you want to be in a fight. You always want to be here or over here. You never want to just stand in front of somebody if you're trying to close distance. I'm short, man. Like, this dude's a head taller than me. So if I'm just standing here, I'm probably going to lose most of these exchanges. Right? If I'm standing on the outside trying to jab at him, watch this. Slip. Now I'm right here. It's hard to punch somebody when their head is on your chest. You're going to be doing this type of shit. So that's why you want to get in close. Right? If you're just standing right in front of him, I'm going to get, it's going to be more of a war than a, you deciding when you want to counter. If you want to counter, you got to work for it. You got to get in close. You got to get in close and you got to get in low. That's another thing about closing distance. People, these short fighters, they stand up tall, right? And then they're here and they are chins all the way up. Get down. Your advantage right now is that you have a low center of gravity. So if I'm here, 
I don't want to stand like this. I want to stand like this. That way I can put more power into this punch. Right? Rather than just standing. I mean, you'll get power, but you'll get countered too. But here, you can push off this leg and get a lot more power if you're a lower center of gravity. So what do we got so far? We got head movement. Don't move out, but move in closer. You want to always try to aim for the side of your opponent, like Lomachenko, right? You never see him just here. He's always switching in his ears, bop, bop, out, in, you know, that type of fucking, it takes a lot of energy and it takes a lot of footwork. But if you're smaller, I'm going to have way more energy than this guy. I'm not, I don't care if I'm not working out for three weeks. I can run circles around this dude, even if he's fit, right? Uh, so we got, what do we get? Moving in, uh, getting close center of gravity right what's another thing if you're a short fighter and you're slow most of those tips are good for you but if you're fast like me right you're gonna get on your toes and I want you to circle but if we're moving this way right we're gonna constantly get him to turn so he's turning with me he's turning with me ah, right and then I'll fucking move back this way always be moving side to side because this dude's gonna have to be doing this oh all right he's over here now fuck He's over here now, and he's going to have to be moving back and forth. So stay low and take angles. I know this is like a different, this is a different thing, right? Moving in and here. I'm talking about stay on the outside, right? I know. Closing distance, you stay on the outside, doesn't make any sense. But say I'm on the outside, right? I'm tiring him out. Do this in the beginning. You want to dance around him? I know his guard's like, or uh, his length is like right here, right? I want to dance around it. Just dance around, keep going back and forth, maybe side to side like this, go this way, go this way, keep your hands up, right? So that way he has to keep moving back and forth, trying to track where you are. So if you do a lot of these things, right, you're in here, and then move here, it's a lot better than like these fighters, they'll do this, watch. I'm going to close the distance, and then I'm going to stay right here. And then just fight you. Don't fucking do that.